I worked for five years for a lot of different people all over the world doing what's called harvest hopping before I started my own label. And that certainly influenced me to a large degree um, in terms of what I wanted to make, um, especially less specifically vineyards because I wasn't actually working with many vineyards in California that I would be able to eventually you know, work with myself, but um, in more broader terms, like what varieties I liked, what styles I liked, um, you know, do I want to make very conventional wines? Do I like more naturally made wines? Do I like very big, robust, high alcohol wines made from, you know, bigger Mediterranean grapes? Do I like very light, very alpine sort of wines? Like that sort of thing. So I learned a lot of that from working with people. But then when I actually started my own label in California, the, the decisions of where specifically to work, meaning what vineyards to pull from, that was to some degree influenced by, you know, all my previous experiences. Like I did know I, I liked Carignan and I wanted to work with grapes that grew well in, in the California heat, which is, it's very hot in California. Um, but specifically what mattered to me the most was finding people to work with, growers to work with that I liked as people. Um, growers who cared about the grapes they were growing, which, you know, that usually means organic growing or biodynamic growing practices. And that means, you know, treating your team well that's farming the vineyard with you. But also growers that, I wanted growers that would care about what I was making in the same way that I cared about what they were making. So I need to work with someone who grows fruit well because of course I want to work with good fruit. And so it matters to me how they're growing. But it's important also that like they can turn around and look at me and be like, okay, well, what wine are you making out of the fruit that I've spent a whole year growing? Is the wine good? Do I like the wine? Do I, you know, care about what you're making? And to have that kind of back and forth exchange is very important to me because again, I'm not actually growing the fruit and they're not actually making the wine. The next best thing is to have a partnership in which we both care very intimately about the other's role which then makes it very much a cohesive, um, a cohesive piece of work.